we're here because a guy has quite a few really collectible Indian motorcycles. This guy's got like half a million dollars worth of Indians in his driveway, dude. <laughs> you really don't need any more. I don't care about your opinion. My dad's tagging along to make sure I don't go crazy, but you can always uh, change his mind a little bit if you have to. Here's the Indian motorcycle collection I told you about. These are just badass. This is nuts, man. <laughs> I've always been a fan of the Indian Marquee. It was the great, iconic motorcycle of America. You did all the restoration yourself? Yes. I feel like I should be at, like, Jay Leno's house or something. <laughs> <laughs> I loved Indian motorcycles since I was a kid. It'll typically be five to eight years on a restoration. And really, they're all labors of love for me. So I would like to see 300 to 350,000 or north of that. OK, so let's walk around and do the tour. Yeah, uh, come on. So this one's 1911. That's a 1911. Nice. The original owner went away and fought in World War I. In fact, it just got cranked up for the first time in almost 100 years yesterday. Damn. Now this one over here. This is a 1917 Indian twin. It's got a lot more levers and bells and whistles than that one did. The original seat, the original toolbox is there. Cool. And that's uh, an old chief. 1934. And that's one of the very few survivors, because by the time World War II came around, most of the motorcycles were melted down for steel for the Army. OK, and this is an early scout. This is a 1930. These bikes are just ridiculous. I mean, the amount of work he's put into restoring these things, it's phenomenal. What's up with the trike over here? When I was young, I rode a tricycle wearing a diaper. <laughs> I'm getting older, so I've got the tricycle. The Don't have the diaper yet, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> The one that I ride the most is the 1947. That's another chief right there. That's another chief. And this is one of the motorcycles that most people associate Indian motorcycles with. The classic skirted fenders. It was called a streamliner. How fast have you got this thing going? 93. That's impressive. <laughs> it's really impressive. <laughs> hey, talk to me real quick, Dad. Come here. You want to offer him 250000 for all of them? Um, no. Why? I know what I want to do here. So how much do you want for these? I mean, start throwing me numbers here. Some of them I haven't ridden very much, so... You take two hundred fifty for all of them? Probably not. OK, there. What, that, what that, if it was $100 bills? No. It's a quarter million dollars, man. That's a lot of money. I just don't think I could sell all of them. What about the 1917? The 1917 I would consider selling, yeah. I'll give you 50 cash for it. I'd cry doing it, but I'd take 60. Let me give you 55 grand. 59. 55,000. 57,500, you got a deal. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> I think I can get a lot of money for this bike. It is really weird, it is really rare, and it pisses me off a little bit because the guy would have gone the 57, Corey just threw $500 in the toilet. <laughs> 